Achieved with CryEngine. Hello everybody, I'm Gachu Planet and welcome to the news please through of my channel. Let, let's begin and let's play the none other of the rise son of Rome. Yes, exactly what you saw. Rise Son of Rome. The same the same studio who made the trilogy of the crisis. I think that's it. I, I, I think that's it. All the games, but the cry the Crytek did. But this game, it was it was one hundred percent supposed to play on the Xbox One, and I already passed ten years. No, not ten years. I think be, I believe uh, almost eleven years since this game was released at the Xbox exclusive. And uh, this game is freaking awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, if you you know continue to to saw uh, to saw what happened to the Xbox since the time of the Xbox One, even nowadays, unfortunately, many journalists and many you know YouTubers who you know affiliated with the PlayStation side, which. Uh, I, I don't want to put, I want to brag, brag on this, but what they call what? Uh, the Xbox tax? Unfortunately, this is game it wasn't fully recognized by the media and by the players. So this become one of the underrated games of all freaking time. Which is a really shame because this game is a freaking awesome. And never should be uh, underrated and but one thing I know for sure I'm gonna play from scratch from the ground up this game and see how this game is really 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 awesome and not only in you know if you listen to the soundtrack right now here on the main menu but many other singles of the game which is awesome. Heck, they even a multiplayer mode which is Gladiator and even nowadays there is still people playing this game on the Xbox. On the Xbox. So this game, uh, so this is another fine like uh, I find this game interesting. After 11 years and even, uh, you know, suffering a lot with the media, this, uh, there's a lot of people is still playing this game Despite you know how old it is, and of course how unique this game is, no matter what, and these are always called the the one the people who play this kind of stuff and still playing are the true gamers because they fully because the true gamers know how it is, know know and recognize is a is a great game. So anyway, oh. Um, I I don't want to also bring this to me because I don't like politics that much. So, if you case, uh, you don't find your, me posting my videos on Twitter, is because unfortunately the Brazilian government, you know, uh, you know the judge Alexandre of Moraes, they shut down the Twitter with a with a you know a charges fine with. When they Elon Musk to censor, uh, to, to censor a few political campaign, political parties, which is of course is, is it is an act of censorship, and of course the 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 right political parties they literally do nothing wrong about it. Rather, but I won't, you know, bring it this here much. But unfortunately, since because of this, childish fight of the judge. For now on, I'm gonna until I don't know. I hope, I really, really hope one day when the this the the 
The people removed this judge of the commission of this job with impeachment and bring stuff all the all normal. I'm gonna put this video and uh, on other videos further for the, for the future in my new social account called Blue Sky, which I'm gonna put in the description down below. The newest uh, <coughs> social, the new social media. Because of the shutdown of the Twitter here in Brazil, and uh, because of the shutdown, many, you know, Brazilians use the uh, start to migrate a lot with the with the blue sky because blue sky it literally is is a kind of similar way as Twitter, but in my experience so far, um, yeah, it's kind of Twitter, but I like Twitter because you have news all the time. Uh, and fresh news, all, uh, technically it's really fresh, fresh what happened. And not only that, but also in the Twitter I can follow my, I can follow big companies that I like to follow to, you know, to getting ahead, uh, to getting on the news what the heck is going on. Like, uh, uh, f you know, a, f uh, a few, I think uh, a month uh, before. Early, um, I think a month ago, one of the one of the greatest uh, television hosts of the Brazil, called Silvio Santos, unfortunately he passed away because of the difficulties of the health. But it, it's a fun. But if, despite he's he's sad, but he's, he's living a, a, a super well, well life, 93 years old, and this. And not only uh, Silvio Santos, w which uh, is a huge, famous uh, television host in Brazil, but also Jo Soares, another television host on Brazil, and uh, even the death of the Kira Toriyama, the famous manga guy who created uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Quest, uh, and even as so now it's time, Blue Dragon, uh, also, which uh, unfortunately and constantly. Uh, he passed away. All this, this you know, this big news, everything. I was fully aware because of the Twitter. So unfortunately, without the Twitter, uh, I had to literally start a new, a, a whole thing again with the, for the another social media account, which is is annoying as heck, and uh, not only annoying as heck. Hacker, but all, but also I cannot I can follow the same things. And many still uh, there, there are many people who still use Twitter. So, but anyway, I can I I won't say anything because it's beginning way too much political. If you want to research about this, go go ahead to research the fight between Elon Musk and the judge Alexandre de Moraes. Then you will find out that unfortunately. Brazil has become a dictatorship country, and I really hope soon, really soon, the we we remove this this kind this man on out of power. But like I said, I don't want to be too political. I don't already talk too much. I need going back to here on the main the, in the game. Uh, like, I'm sorry a lot about this because it is a huge moment in my, in my life. You know, I always use Twitter, and uh, because of Twitter, I I start to know many many people, and those people are my friends. You know, you know, and and now losing all this, it was so sad. I, I really, really, really was freaking upset, man. So anyway, back in the back. In the in the beginning of the main game, so this game is awesome, is awesome, and you're gonna see why because you're gonna see why this is awesome. So let's begin with the rise, son of Rome. Man. This that I like to cry tag. Look at all the de they like details like the many things of the cry tag. If you saw, 
the crisis, even this game they make it long. They take a lot of pictures, you like really close things, and use this technology to make it as realistic as possible. And it really is. Look at this. Uh, like I said, since this game is based on the on the Rome, I don't know if it will be historical or anything, or it will be like Gladiator, which has historical importance. But in the end, the story is all fictional. I believe in this game, in, the, in, in this case, the game, it will be the same like in the, in the movie Gladiator. Like there is a historical facts and historical references, but I believe the whole story will be fictional. And of course, the way how they, they destroy everything is obviously the barbarian horde is invading and attacking. The, uh, the Roman Empire. Man, look at the details. The face, the green. The, the clothes. Oh, this is not terrifying. Well, this will be extremely terrifying for the ancient times. Help me! Help me! Man, look at the lights, everything. Nero. Yeah, Nero is a really bad emperor. One of the worst emperor ever on the history of the Roman Empire. Don't not don't feel Romans which are uh, Roman empires which are really good, but it's not much of one. It's on a few. Ooh, rise, song of Rome. What a way to start a game, dude. Look at my health! Uh, Severus, to me. Yeah, this game is really like a... Hell's Plains, you know? But it is in total! <laughs> but, you know what, what the interesting... Okay... Okay. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. No, you have a D is really neat how to regen health in the game. Okay, let's go to the action. Oh. Man, these acoustications is really good. It's really like a freaking movie. Ooh, his arm! Man, so good! Oh, his throat. Man, this is good. Look at this animation. The faces of the enemies when they kill. Oops. Ooh, bye bye! Oh, okay, it's like with the, with the scenario. Good! Man, this game is really a uh, way to handle this time because. Because think about it. The game is like Hell's Blade, God of War, is really based on this game. Look at the camera, the, the gameplay. The lead of defense is breaking the Babylonian child. Like a cinematic, everything, and gameplay. But, uh, but but this game compared to you know Hell's Blade and ouch you son of a bitch oh. no the letters oh 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 I can do it at the same time oh I cut his leg oh nice oh cool. I, I I just I I, I stab him and then I stab him and then you know walking forward to 
Oh, uh, 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 upgrades. Ooh, so this game also has a level, huh? Oh, that is a really bad look. Oh no! Even though it means kind of, uh, kind of, you know, goes, but press and hold LB, which is left button to voice go to voice order your armors. Oh yeah, since this game it was released during the in the beginning of the Xbox One and Xbox One, it was released with the Kinect and the Kinect has the the voice command, so I can use the voice command of the Kinect to use this. This is amazing feature of the game. When the Fortress 6 is playing on the Xbox Series X and the Kinect doesn't have Xbox anymore, had to use manually, which is a is is boring, but but it's boring, but you don't give a you know a immense experience. Like can you imagine say fire volley for yourself? Then it will be awesome. And not only I think yeah, I believe there could be another command like this. Oh man! Go, barbarian hordes! Status of the defenses, soldier. Yes, sir. Most of the 18th Legion is still combat effective. We have three auxiliary units in your command. Yeah, man, this game is really like a way of hand stand because Hellblade took the same game and then God of War did the same freaking thing. Well, only difference is, you know, uh, this game is kind of a mix. Between gameplay and cinematic, meanwhile, uh, has really way more focused on cinematic. And God of War uh, is way more focused than the cinematic than gameplay. This is the mixture. I, I, I like I say, I like this a uh, mixture between cinematic and gameplay. Like Hellblade has a little bit, but is kind of lit. More cinematic. I don't know about the second game. I really need to, to buy and play the Hellblade 2. I don't know what the heck uh, will be, but you know, but but in my experience of the first game is well, it is you know a cinematic game, but it's kind of a little mix with the gameplay. Here is literally gameplay and cinematic. Gameplay and cinematic. Gameplay and cinematic. It's a perfect mixture between those, and this is a freaking awesome. And like, and man, like I said, man, like I said, this game you feel saw is way really ahead of its time. Okay, form a line. Order to your man to fill the gap and protect the right flank. You will need to protect the left side with the Scorpio. Okay, form a line. North barricade. Press hold of right trigger button. Release fire. Okay. Oh man. Be careful soldiers. Okay. Oh man, my man dying over there. No, 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 you won't get what you put in my, my man. Fire volley! Fireman, fire volley! Ooh! Fireman, fire volley! Order the catapult 
Oh, the catapult! Catapult fire! Oh man, I wish it was to do this. Oh man. See, look at this. You can see the hood and everything of the game, but it still is kind of in the middle of the cinematic. It's not like uh, in the House Blade or God of War, also like this. Well, God of War, kinda, but House Blade is way. No, this doesn't have. Okay. Okay, upgrade. Ooh, health. Yeah, I think I think it's better to you know. Oh, I can I won't use money. Yeah, better use this. You know. Do health. Focus. Hmm. I don't know what it is. It's gonna be really awesome. But since it's gonna be a bar, you know, it has to be something really, really special. Gain. XP. Oh, only. Recruit, gain, upgrade. Oh. Focus points increase on successful scoring. Ah, they could be neat, but okay, let me see combat. Oof. So, wait. Increase inventory or projectors or fire. They could be useful. Mario's Bunny Ego mode. Okay. Oops. Oh, this is the multiplayer. Oh, I oh really? This is gonna be interesting to, to upgrade. But oh man, I need to save it. Okay, so oh, it is too much. Oh my god, it's too much. Lubricus <laughs> called Vexor. Wow. Oh, a lot. Okay. Then, wow, uh, multiple rebellions. <laughs> uh, even co-op. Cool. So, uh, okay. Uh, what? Yeah, this is what the cheaper one. So, Or more. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I cannot upgrade any more, I believe. Yeah, all this is really goddamn expensive. And I need to kind of upgrade the level over there in the corner. So, so let's continue, man. Otherwise, if he, man, otherwise this game is really has, you know, some valuable. What I see is you have this game has valuable of oh, it's shiny green. Oh, is it collectible? Oh, it's a collectible. Oh my goodness. The, if there's a collectible, I'm going to start to hunt them down all the collectibles. So, but anyway, because of the collectibles and the, and the skills and everything, it really has. Re uh, Damn, Nero, you really so afraid of But who? Uh, but anyway, uh. No, no, the vaults! This way! It's going near to the vault. Oh, look at the differences that I gained. Yeah, so. Why is that door closed? Oh, I don't know. Who who closed the door? There's someone in there. Oh, there's another collectible here. Perhaps you should open it. Ah, uh, you. Ah, uh, you. Of course. A goddamn coward police can. Like always. <laughs> Not different. Oh, man. 
Not that different than nowadays, but okay. XP, okay. But first, let me see if there's anything I call that ball hidden over here. Hmm, I thought we could break it, but no. Ah, Nero, Nero, Nero. Like always, I would call them political cowards. Ooh, if I can go over there, so that it means there's some. Aha! A collectible! The other one was kind of block, but since he, this was kinda. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's keep some ass and kill more Babanian hordes. Come here, you cowards! His legs too. Nice. Oh. Whoops. Oh, cool. That is awesome. Oh. Man, this game really is a hand of its time. Man, look at this. <laughs> oh yeah baby Ooh, another upgrade oops okay oh my god wow make upgrades really really useful the the, the thing all the XP so Oh man. Wait. Oh. Ah, oh, I see you. No. Let's pick more executioners. Okay, now I really was paying a lot of things. Yeah, this is it. Alright, soldier! Though, even if you aren't to me, you bastard! Oh. Oh, man. Oh, this is blood. Oof. How many blood was spilled here? To feel like that? Well, you guys are a lot. But, man, like I said, this game is really kinda. I had it this time because 
it is a cinematic game, you know, like House Blade and God of War, but this game was literally in the beginning, 2013. 2013 was released this game. 2013, remember, 2013. And look at how many games kind of have these similarities. Hell's Blade, God of War, it really came off of this. And because, and because of the media, this game really become underrated. For outrageous reason, does it make any sense? Oh, B is the fake, okay. Oh, I see, with the glowing red, I have to press the button B because it is the column with the buttons. This is interesting. Only the. Well. Here, quickly! Man, this game really is oh, ahead of its time. This is one advance for Roman attack. For Roman ancient uh, time. But I guess, well. I think, yeah, this game it ha it has to be some. Despite you know, April Nero is really is is six. And Damocles, Damocles is a myth. Damocles. Only men kill men, my emperor. Yeah, I believe this game is you know fictional, like uh, oh, gladiator. And what great oracle told you this, general? My father. Man, is I think he used. Fish motion capture on the face because it will really the, the way how the the game uh, because the way how the game interacts with the everything the faces is really well done. Obviously, this game uses motion captures motion because to make more realistic as possible and not only realistic and Marius. Marius. But my name is no import. My story, however. Is. Oh, so I see. So this game will. My father taught me that we are fated by the gods, but that we alone choose our path. You were fated to be an emperor, and I, a soldier. Oh, so the what I see per chapter. Drove him to follow so yeah, to I'm gonna end this episode. But what drove us to take the paths we did? What made us the men that we are today? My story begins some ten years past. Ten years? Man, this game is beautiful. I, I don't care. I, I I don't care if I, you know, finish this game. I'm definitely gonna play this game a bunch of times over and over and over again. And game like this is, like I say, is great. If, if you... Father. If you like so much, you want to replay this game it's over and over and over again. Uh, how do I look? Every inch the Roman soldier. You look fine, my son. Man, the, <laughs> man, the armor, shining <laughs> all the lights, everything, details. Do you know where you're to be posted? So good. Alexandria. So ah, Alexandria. Oh, the peak of difference. Alexandria. Mother, well, then the it's interesting. In the yeah, in those times, the, the peak of time, the beacon on Alexandria exists. Remember, it, it's not a beacon. Is not all what's, your what's it the name? Uh, Lighthouse. Yes, the Lighthouse of Alexandria. Marius. Marius. <gasps> hmm. Almost kind of Mario <laughs> name, huh? Like it's me, Mario. Mother, please. Man, so freaking good. But of course, since he is is Rome and use. Uh, you know, For Romans now. names, Latin names, Lat ancient Latin Roman oh. names. So obviously, it's not going to be Mario in in yes, Marius. This is neat. We will talk in good time. For now, let's see what you've learned. Yeah, not now. I'm gonna end this episode. <sighs> see. Look at what you all saw so far here. The gameplay, the cinematic, the graphics, the soundtrack, the, the, the soundtrack, 
the faces, the clothes, the, the illumination, all the minimal details. This game is perfect. 10 out of 10, it's a masterpiece. But unfortunately, because of the Xbox tags, which in the Twitter, it was, you know, called that. This game has become really, really underrated. And this is not only one of the Xbox exclusive games which become like this. There are plenty more games which become, I will show you. But this is a major thing why I created this channel. Not only play all the major games, the, you know, famous major games that everyone loves to play like Call of Duty, Final Fantasy Fringes, Resident Evil, Resident Evil, you know, but also game which is really, really underrated and unfortunately forgotten by the, in the hands of the media. And uh, like, uh, look at all the games that I play. L.A. Noir, a, a, a great detective game which unfortunately is forgotten. Even Rockstar uh, don't have plans to make a sequel of the game. Or a remake of the game, but I be, but for, I think you know, L.A. Noir is way worth it if it was a sequel. It was a sequel, not a remake, because because this game because L.A. Noir itself is already good and there is a remaster version. Bulletstorm, Monolith of Honor, Devil May Cry, and uh, you know even you know that space. If, despite this space, it has some, but. If in case you don't know, I I even you <laughs> look at the on the freaking irony. I heard this kind of stuff on the Twitter. Exactly on the Twitter, I hear that I don't know how, but and the lack of the sale of the remake of the Dead Space, EA give up making. As uh, the remake of the second game, which is a shame, but I saw that on a Twitter official reports of the of the EA of the Electronic Arts, and you know EA and Dice, you know, you know, which unfortunately they won't, uh, they give up to make a remake of the second game or the Dead Space. And I, I'm pretty sure that I just tell the next game that I'm gonna play it. But let's forget about that. Shh. That could be a surprise. Shh. So anyway. See what I did. What I done. What I show. Just because everyone, this journalist, the content journalist say, Oh, don't play this game. It's awful. Uh, don't waste your time and money to play this game because I say my word is law. This game is bad, and many people are maybe oh so if you're a journalist, it has to be true. So you never have experiment by yourself, but when you play the game and play it by yourself and say wait, that is it the game the journalist say that told me this game is bad. This doesn't make any goddamn sense. I play the game and I enjoy, I love every single moment so far of the game. There's no way it is to it can it be totally biased. Why? And that's what I show. There's no even I, I even though I say many times that I'm biased on you know on the Xbox platform and, and of course it is true. But I always say as a pure honest, I am an honest guy. And you have to, and you, have to, you have to trust me because I show you to you, right in hand, right here, what the others didn't do, didn't do though. And this one another huge purpose of my channel. You know, not only play all these famous games. You know, and show all the features of what, what the other thing can do, or the Xbox can do, or what it has, or the DLCs that I play that many people don't play. Is this? I play an amazing freaking game, which is is 11 years old, 
at this point how old it is. It's still freaking awesome. It's still freaking beautiful. And man, it's still... And uh, man, it, it, it is worth it. Buy it. Every single penny, the, every single penny is worth it to buy this game. Despite all everything else to say. And always say to me, if I want to play the game and it has own and it's and you know decide if the game is a bad or not play by yourself has your own opinions and this why I show to you I show you to you my things your thoughts and now and how great this game is and if and of course for those who has an Xbox game Xbox consoles even one and series you can still play this game. It's super cheap nowadays, and I believe this game also has a PC. But unfortunately, well, back then, those days is crossplay, so unfortunately, we cannot play together PC and Xbox because the service is different because it is an old game. And back then, those days, uh, crossplay is um is a, a not a not innovative idea was was released way. Later, when Fortnite shows and no crossplay is benefit for everyone, and now many games nowadays has the feature for the crossplay. And look at the, all the game, the huge games there because of Fortnite would put a crossplay, and even start to pull crossplay, and now he has the feature of crossplay. Call of Duty, uh, the reboot of the Modern Warfare, which is a huge success. Uh, that uh, you, uh, I believe another is Among Us, Found Guys, and uh, not only that, but Battlefield 2042. Yes, exact, exactly. The 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 other the Battlefield the the Battlefield also has crossplay. Another game, another game also has crossplay. If you're not mistaken, is uh now now it's become a crossplay because over the several uh uh. uh, uh you know, updates and of course the feedback. All the players is now Rainbow Six Siege. Now it is crossplay. Destiny 2 is a crossplay game. It is a crossplay game. So you, uh, not only that, but also you know, Sea of Thieves, uh, Grounded, the, the, all these games that are I mentioned. Oh, not oh, oh I remember uh, Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76. All these games is. is Crossplay. So, look at the power of the community of the gaming community. And Xbox always done uh, say when you saw the crossplay on the Fortnite, say no, we had to invest this heavily. Uh, who wasn't against it? PlayStation. PlayStation really was against the crossplay. But of course, after the huge backlash of the negativity of the you know the player uh, the fan base. Then the Sony uh, dropped his knees and said, okay, go for go, go, go in, 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 put crossplay on the consoles. The consoles. And I know it always shows some kind of bias, but here's the thing though. I'm not a YouTuber who, is a, who, who never say, oh, I'm not a bias or anything. But you, you show totally a bias when there's something. I'm not. Yes, I. I try to be not as biased as possible, but there are things no, I had to tell because it's facts, it's the truth, and I won't, I, I, I don't want to be a liar, you know, I don't want to lie uh, with this misinformation, give false information to my uh, to new to my subscribers, to new people, with you, to the with the people in general. I am an honest man. But like I said, but anyway, I already say too much about this. So looks like in the next episode will be started in the history of this Mario's f uh, past because since it's the past, so it means in the beginning the, of the game is literally at the end of the game. So 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 now I think we say all everything was going on, what what happened, everything. Because we are already starting with a huge bang, like everything is falling apart, the barbarians start invading Rome, you know? And of course. And, 
And of course, we don't know what happened. So now Mary is gonna tell the story what happened. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the amazing first episode of Rise, Son of Rome. I hope you all enjoyed this amazing episode of the of the game. If you do enjoy, I appreciate to you all to support me by giving me a like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, put your comment down below your songs about the amazing episode of Rise, Son of Rome. And remember, folks. Here we are, winners. And stay tuned for the next episode of Rise on the Rome. And gonna see you in the next episode. Bye bye.